Here's Melanie Ulmick is live on Capitol Hill with more on what's being done. Mel, good morning. Good morning, and we know it's going to take about eight to ten weeks for Abbott to get its product back on the shelf. So a bill that would make it easier for families to have some flexibility to buy other brands got overwhelming bipartisan support in the House. Now, Abbott produces the majority of the formula that families can buy with their using government assistance vouchers, those WIC vouchers. The company's largest plant in Michigan has been closed since February after contamination issues and a recall. So ten Temporarily allowing families with vouchers to have more choice was an easy vote, passing the House 414 to 9. Here's Virginia Congressman Bobby Scott. Unfortunately, in a time of shortage, a voucher for a product not on the shelf is of no value. This bill allows flexibility in such, such a time so that parents will be able to purchase whatever brand is actually available. A supply chain issues have made finding other brands of formula challenging, too, for all parents. President Biden has invoked the Defense Production Act, which means suppliers of ingredients needed to manufacture baby formula must fill those orders first. The Department of Defense will also begin Operation Fly Formula, using commercial aircraft to fly formula from other countries as long as it meets U.S. food safety standards. Now, the voucher bill and a separate...